Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a tutorial on how you can make, or how you can play Roblox on Linux Mint. And as you can see here, it was asked by a viewer of the channel, and so I'm happy to do it. I've got a laptop running Linux Mint, so, and I just haven't installed Roblox on this thing yet, so I will definitely do that. So, as a short sort of explanation, what we're going to do, I'm assuming that if you can't figure out how to get Roblox installed on your own, you, you don't really have a lot of experience with the command line. So I'm going to try and use graphical utilities wherever possible. So I, I'm probably going to have to use the terminal here and there, but hopefully not much. So basically, what we're first going to need to do is we're going to need to get the official WineHQ repositories enabled because... The version of Wine that ships with Ubuntu, which is what Linux Mint is based on, and I guess uh, Mint itself, uh, they are not updated enough to be able to run Roblox. So what we're first going to need to do is we're going to need to add that repository. So what we're going to do, I guess I'm going to have to use the terminal here. Go ahead and have open your terminal. And you're going to want to go to wiki.winehq.org slash Ubuntu. And we're going to need to type in sudo dpkg minus once add architecture i386. And this command will enable 32-bit support. And that will allow us to run wine. Because it uses a lot of 32-bit libraries, so we're run that command. Just type in your pseudo password. That should be done. And so now, what we're going to do is we're going to run this command, which will download the the key for the repositories. And it's not exactly like the key is basically a way of verifying that the packages that you downloaded actually were what they were in the in the simplest way possible and if you don't have wget installed which you should and to check if you have wget installed you can just type in wget and obviously i got some output but if you don't have wget installed you can do sudo apt install wget and i i clearly do have it installed so So we're going to go ahead and download the key signature, and then we are going to run this command here, which is sudo apt key add wine hq dot key. Okay, so if you got this okay here, you are all ready. And so now we are going to add the repository, which we will use a graphical utility for. And so you're going to want to go to your update manager. Go ahead and click on it. And so here you're going to want to go to edit software sources. Click on additional repositories, add a repository, go over here and so we're going to want to go here where it says Linux Mint 20.x and you should be running Linux Mint 20.x or tw basically the x means any like number right there and check what version you are running, you can look up about I think or system system info here so you can see here that I am running Linux Mint 20 cinnamon so that's going this is going to be the repository here that we're going to use and we're going to want to copy everything in the quotation marks paste it right here so you should have deb, the repository URL, and then focal, which is short for focal fossa, which is what version of Ubuntu that the Mint is based on, 
mint 20 is based on we're going to want to hit ok and then we're going to click ok to update the apt cache which will recover our the index of where the packages are on the repository Alrighty, and so we just took care of this step over here and also this step. This was updating the apt cache and Okay, so now we've got to install one of these packages and so basically the stable branch is going to be More stable the development branch is going to be going to have experimental patches and the staging branch is going to have less experimental packages or it's rather not packages but parts of the code that are in testing and so the wine staging might be okay so we're going to need wine version 6.11 or above and so it's probably best to prefer the stable branch but if the stable branch is not up to date then you're going to want to have to go up the list so going to have to go to staging and if staging is not up to date we'll have to choose develop and so what we're going to do we're going to want to go into our software center or our, not our software center we're going to have to look for a synaptic synaptic package manager here And the reason why we choose Synaptic instead of the regular software center is because it's able to index and see some of the pa these these particular packages. So you want to go here to search, and we're going to want to search for Wine HQ. We're going to look for in the name. And so you see here that we've got these packages here. We've got stable staging and devel. So what we're going to want to do is you can see here that wine H2 stable does not have wine version 6.11 or above. It's got wine version 6.0.1 and you won't be able to run Roblox with this version. So we're going to want to choose the staging branch by clicking on that little check mark and or the checkbox and then clicking mark for installation so we can click mark here alrighty we'll disregard that okay so now that we've got YNHQ staging applied we are going to apply that change and you can see here what changes are going to be made to the packages on your system and you can see that the this package here is going to be removed this package here is going to be removed and so wine is being removed i had wine installed already but it was the not up to date version so what basically what it's doing it's replacing the wine that's on the system with the more up to date wine so once you're good with those changes and you see nothing that's going to give your system heartache such as removing some packages that you actually want we can hit apply So this will take a hot minute. Alrighty, so you can see here that when it finishes, you will see that it'll say successfully applied all changes. You can close this window now. And so we should now have wine staging installed. And to verify that we have wine staging installed, or at least wine version 6.11, that's at least what you need. Close out of that going to need to check the terminal and all you're gonna have to see here is wine minus minus version and if you got 6.11 or above you are all set for our next step and so what we can now do is we can actually install grape juice and so grape juice acts as a launcher to Roblox 
and it helps integrate well into a Linux environment. So as you can see, step one has already been done. We did install Wine at least 6.11 and our package repositories are updated. If you have any system updates you want to install, you should probably do that real quick. And just to sort of make things easier here, you probably don't want to go through Synaptic and just click all these packages. So we're just going to use the terminal here. Save a little bit of time and effort. Run the command that we just copied. And this will pull down the packages and install them. The at least the prerequisites for installing grape juice. Alrighty, so once you have all of the dependencies and prerequisites, we are going to need to install grape juice. And so there is an alternative way of doing this. If you don't want to clone the git repository, I believe you can do sudo pip, which pip is the Python package manager, and grape juice is written in Python, so, and I believe it is in these repositories, so you should be able to do sudo pip install, and it was in the, uh, the list of packages that we just installed there, so we should have pip now. You can do pip install grape juice. If that gives you some trouble, which I'm sure that would have worked if I waited, but I'm a little bit impatient. That will probably work for you, but we are going to use the method that they explain here. Which basically, we're going to clone the git repository, and so basically the repository contains all the source code and it'll allow us to build it from the source code, or at least install it from the source code. We don't really build it, it's not a compiled language but it will clone the repository to the temporary directory and grape juice. And then we can cd slash temp slash grape juice. And then we can do Python. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need pseudo privileges or not, but. It looks like it's installing it for our user only. So if you want to install grape juice globally, you're going to want to sudo pip install grape juice. So this will allow everybody on the system to use grape juice. But if you just want only your user to use grape juice, you'll want to use the git repository. And now you can see that it is installing Roblox and you may see this and look it may look familiar and it is the Roblox installer running in Linux Mint right now. So I have to wait for this complete. Alrighty, so now we can see that Roblox is successfully installed. And so you'll see later that you don't really open the games for the browser. You're going to want to use the desktop application. So if we go here and we look up Roblox, you'll see that we have three new menu entries here. We'll have grape juice and so this will allow you to manage roblox we'll have the roblox app and so basically this is the the beta version of the windows desktop app ported to linux and the reason why they did that is because it is difficult sending the signals from the browser to the application because you may know if you've ever played roblox on Windows, you go to roblox.com, you search for a game, and it will open with a Roblox link. That doesn't work all the time in 
Linux, it's worked sometimes in the past for me, but it's not a consistent experience. And so having the desktop app is much better. And so you'll also have Roblox Studio, and this will allow you to make places. And so we're going to first start out by showing you Grape Juice. And so we can see here, we got our little graphical utility here. And so if you wish to use Roblox Studio, you're going to want to click here to sign into it. For maintenance, uh, we won't need to install Roblox, but for some reason, at some point, you installed Grape Juice and didn't install Roblox. You'll have to use this here. And we can also reinstall Grape Juice. We can also install an FPS unlocker, and we can also uninstall Grape Juice. And over here in the wine section, you'll be able to manage some things about wine. So now I will open up the Roblox app for you, show you what that looks like. So you can see here you got your familiar looking white box. Alrighty, so you can see we've got our Roblox desktop app. You can log in. One thing I should mention that you may or may not stay signed in for this. You may have to log back in every time. Alright, so as you can see here, we've got our Roblox desktop app. And this will allow you to use all the basic functionality of the Roblox website just from your desktop and it's got sort of a similar layout to the Roblox mobile app, so if you used that before, just using this will be a breeze. Next, I'll show you guys the studio, which is basically where you build places. Already see here, we've got our Roblox Studio desktop app, so we can sign in here. Alrighty, well... As you can see, you've got Roblox installed, and where you go here, it's all up to you, and I hope you have fun. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also be sure to join the Matrix space that I have set up. Be able to talk with me, and be sure to recommend me anything you want done next, and you can also follow me over on Odyssey. I am at Matt Madness, and so... I hope this video is beneficial to you.